Welcome back to another piece of Top Choice Movies Recap. Today's film is a 2015 comedy romance drama, titled, The Wedding Ringer. Watch out for spoilers, sit back and enjoy it. Jimmy Callahan, played by Kevin Hart provides best man services for guys who don't have the friends necessary for a wedding. As Doug Harris played by Josh Gad, a successful tax attorney, and his fiancée Gretchen Palmer played by Kaylee Kuoka Sweeting are planning for their wedding day, Doug becomes frantic searching for a best man. He faints and is referred to Jimmy's company, The Best Man Incorporated, by his party planner, Edmundo played by Ignacio Sirikio. Doug was led to The Best Man Inc., by Otis played by Corey Holcomb, which is located under an amusement park known as The Basement. Doug meets Jimmy and asks him to pull off a Golden Tux Seven Groomsmen to match with Gretchen's bridesmaids, which has never been done before. Jimmy refuses, claiming he is complacent and doesn't need the pressure. After hearing Doug's plea, Jimmy agrees to be his best man along with a payment of $50,000 and all expenses paid. When going over the formalities for the wedding, Doug tells Jimmy his name is Bick Mitchum. Jimmy recruits some former friends. Fitzgibbons played by Colin Kane, a criminal who escaped from a federal prison, agrees to be a groomsman because there will be seven bridesmaids to hit on. Next, he recruits Lurch played by Jorge Garcia, a plumber, who agrees to get away from his nagging wife. Lastly, he recruits Reggie played by Affion Crockett, an airline security agent, who agrees because there will be good food. Jimmy, his secretary Doris played by Jennifer Lewis, Fitzgibbons, Lurch, and Reggie interview people willing to fill the four remaining spots based on their party trick distractions. They choose Kip played by Alan Richson, a sexy man with a stutter, Endo played by Aaron Takahashi, who has three testicles, Bronstein played by Dan Gill, who can dislocate and relocate his shoulder, and Otis, who can say every sentence backwards. Doug, excited, tells Gretchen that Bic flew in from El Salvador, and he will be at the wedding. Gretchen insists that Bic comes to the family brunch. Doug meets Jimmy and they memoize their identities. Doug also tells Jimmy that he must act as a military priest from North Dakota. At the brunch Gretchen's father Ed played by Ken Howard asks Jimmy what part of North Dakota he's from. Doug becomes nervous and almost blows his own cover until Jimmy accidentally sets Grandma, played by Cloris Leachman, on fire. They take her to the emergency room, and Jimmy makes up a lie to Ed that Doug used to play football. Ed challenges Jimmy and Doug to a football game with some of his old college teammates who will be at the wedding. Doug meets his groomsmen, who he is initially not fond of. Doris gives all of them fake identities, all of which share the last names of famous Los Angeles sports figures, Plunkett, Rambus, Garvey, Alzado, Drysdale, Carew, and Dickerson, which they have to memeize. Jimmy takes the groomsmen on fake photo shoots of skydiving, scuba diving, bowling, running a marathon, and climbing mountains. As Jimmy realizes Doug is beginning to doubt him, he is taken to Edmundo's house. Doug learns Edmundo's flamboyant personality is just a ruse for better business. Edmundo tells him that the only key is to please Gretchen, and her mother Lois played by Mimi Rogers, and nothing else matters. To prove to Doug how good he is at being a best man, Jimmy takes Doug to a wedding where the best man played by Josh Peck makes a terrible speech. After, they have drinks and show off their dance moves. The two drink after the wedding and talk. Jimmy said he made an excellent best man speech for a minor friend, which led to his career as a wedding ringer. Doug said that his father was an international tax attorney and moved frequently as a child, so he never got to make friends. He also tells Jimmy he's never been on a guy trip and just wants a friend to sit down and have a beer with. When his parents died, Doug took over the business and work consumed him, leaving him without a best man. Jimmy drives Doug home and reiterates that they are in a business relationship and Doug, although hurt, agrees. Jimmy, thinking about what Doug said, is reminded by Doris why he started his business in the first place. She tells Jimmy he needs a real friend for himself 
and he is motivated to pull off the rest of the wedding. The next day, Doug is captured by Reggie and Fitzgibbons and taken to his outrageous bachelor party. He is introduced to Nadia played by Nikki Whelan, who tries to seduce him. Doug instead befriends her, and she later puts peanut butter on his genitals. Doug, who is blindfolded, is unaware that Jimmy and Nadia have basseted a dog hound to lick off the peanut butter. When the prank goes awry, the groomsmen and Nadia race to the hospital and evade a cop chase. When Doug wakes up the next day, Nadia kisses him goodbye and hints she would like to know him better. Later, the groomsmen play football with Ed and his college football friends. A mud bowl ensues and Ed blows out his knee on the last play. At the rehearsal dinner that night, Gretchen's bridesmaids sing a song, while Doug's groomsmen create a slideshow of the fake pictures they previously took, winning Gretchen over. He also presents to her two honeymoon tickets to Tahiti. That night, Gretchen, speaking to Doug, notices Big Razors and Mitchum deodorant in their cabinets. She recognizes the familiarity in the last names of the groomsmen and deduces the scheme. She asks Doug about it, but he brushes it off, saying Gretchen is paranoid, to which she reluctantly agrees. On the day of the wedding, the family priest cancels and is replaced by Jimmy's old Catholic school principal. Doug hatches an idea where Reggie and Fitzgibbons kidnap the priest and Jimmy officiates the wedding as Bick Mitchum. The wedding reception is initially successful. Jimmy passes Gretchen and congratulates her on the wedding. Gretchen exclaims that the wedding is a disaster because her grandmother has third-degree burns, her dad's knees blown out, the food is bad, the bridesmaids are not attracted to the groomsmen, the zip on her dress is broken, and she isn't marrying the man she loves. Gretchen confesses to Jimmy she only married Doug because she was tired of having bad relationships, and he can easily provide the lavish lifestyle she wants. Doug overhears this in the bathroom and tells Jimmy that he can't go through with the rest of the wedding. Jimmy dismisses Doug's ideas and makes the best man speech. Before Jimmy wraps up his best man speech, Doug stops it and reveals he and Gretchen aren't married since Bick is not a real priest. He also tells everyone that his groomsmen are fake. Jimmy, Doug, and the groomsmen try to escape. Before doing so, Jimmy asks Gretchen's sister, Alison played by Olivia Thirlby on a date, which she accepts. Doug pays Jimmy his $50,000 like he promised and they accept each other's friendship. As they leave, Jimmy has an idea. They use Doug's first-class honeymoon tickets to Tahiti, taking him on a guy trip where the groomsmen, Edmundo, Doris, and Nadia, who begins her romance with Doug, party in the plane, while Lurch says that he has a bad feeling about this flight. In a scene at the end of the credits, Jimmy and Doug are seen playing a painful game of tennis. Moral lessons. There are many reasons why you should get married starting with the beginning, oneness, purity, parenting and love etc. But the most important thing is to marry someone that gives you peace, a reason to live and that one real friend, not someone you have to impress, but someone who helps to make you a better you. Marry someone you love now and will forever love throughout the days of your life, till death. Also know this, the true measure of friendship isn't how you feel about someone else, it's about how they make you feel about yourself. Thank you for tuning in. Please feel free to share your thoughts on the movie you just watched in the comments box below. And don't forget to subscribe for more movie recaps to come your way.